Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about how to build a pregnancy capsule wardrobe that is stylish and comfortable without breaking the bank. So I've put together a rack here of essentially what you need to have a pregnancy wardrobe and I'm going to be playing with different combinations. We're going to be doing a lookbook at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that and let's dive in. So I did a lot of research on what to wear. Your body changes so much when you're pregnant and I'm in the second trimester here, getting bigger pretty much by the week. Um, and I really wanted to be prepared and have some pieces that I could grow into. You'll also find that you very quickly need pieces that are more comfortable than sort of making what you have in your wardrobe work. A lot of pieces you can still make work, but there are some key pieces that you really need to bring in. And then you just combine those with your existing wardrobe and you actually have a pretty functioning wardrobe. So that's what I'm gonna go over today. I hope this will be really helpful. I also really wanted to keep that stylish element because being pregnant is, you know, sometimes not so fun, but sometimes it actually is really fun and you feel really sexy and you feel really good in your body and you know, you're glowing and all those things, which I do hope that you get to experience in your pregnancy. All right, I'm gonna start off with the maybe like less glamorous things, but very important, underwear. So I have just pulled a few pieces here for you. Um, what I would say is you definitely wanna get some sports bras or bralettes. This is from Patagonia. It has no padding, no underwire. Um, you might wanna get a size up or a size or two up <laughs> as you start to grow. But I do find that, you know, you don't want any underwire like cutting in. It's not good. It's not good for sort of the development that's going on at that moment. Um, and then I also find that I do want the sports bra to sort of contain everything because the girls get big. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you. Um, so there's that. This is another more of a maternity style bra that a girlfriend of mine gave to me. So that's another really good way to do it is if you have friends who've recently been pregnant and they can pass things down, that will be really helpful. Um, so this is by Motherhood. And what I like about this one, again, it's more of a bralette sports bra type, but it does clasp in the back. So that's really convenient. So I'll have everything linked below. You don't have to keep track, but these are the pieces that I'm really finding work for me. The other thing is you want to get hanky panky underwear. And I say hanky panky because they don't have any sizing. It's one size fits all. It just has this like stretchy um, lace. And it also, this sort of bikini style rides lower. So you're not gonna feel any pressure, um, especially in the beginning. I was really sensitive to pressure on my abdomen. And so having this low cut, D cut, um, one size fits all by Hanky Panky is the best. I literally bought like 15 pair. <laughs> and you wanna get different colors, um, you know, black obviously, and then some lighter colors that you can wear under lighter um, clothing and it won't show up. So that's kind of why I'm showing you these two pair here. And again, you'll probably want to stock up on many, many. One more thing to mention is that as your body changes so much, finding something that's comfortable to sleep in and sleeping in general can be challenging. Um, I really recommend this slip dress sort of nighty from Stork. And Stork, I'm gonna be highlighting quite a bit in this video just because, uh, well, it's my friend's company and she did such a good job creating basics that are comfortable. Um, she sources organic cotton and tensile, more sustainable fibers. And she's just made a range that is really wearable, really comfortable. And when I first got this, I was not that into it because it has this built-in bra. Um, it's more for nursing that you can use it for nursing later with the little straps that come undone. And I was sort of like, ah, it feels like a lot going on, but trust me, as you start to grow and fill in here, you're gonna want the support when you sleep, especially because it starts to make your back really sore if you don't have support in the front. So I would definitely recommend this and it comes in a few different colors. Um, and I will link it below. One more sort of intimate piece that I want to highlight is a maternity swimsuit. 
So I do think that you can get away with wearing your bikini for quite a while, maybe all the way through um, full term, because if you just are able to wear your bikini bottoms below your bum, and obviously a lot of bikinis, they're all made from a stretchy fabric, so that really works well. And then obviously, you know, you might be filling out the top a little bit more than you previously were, and I think you can get away with that to a certain extent. It looks really cute, you don't have to buy anything new. But I did decide to get a one piece, um, partially because I didn't want too much sun on my belly. Um, I'm using sweet almond oil, so, you know, to sort of help with prevention of any stretch marks and keep everything hydrated and staying out of the sun, I know will also sort of help that skin. So I wanted to get uh, one piece and I actually just got this is off of Amazon. I mean, there are some more sustainable brands that you can get for um, swimwear, but I just didn't really want to spend that. I, I just, you know, I only see myself wearing this for a certain period of time. And, and of course I can pass it on and that will be more sustainable. So anyway, I just got this one off of Amazon and it has lots of room for a growing belly. And I will show you a few different ways in the lookbook to sort of style this if you're going to the pool or um, just on a hot day. So what I'm gonna do now is just go through things sort of by category. And as I mentioned, there's gonna be a lookbook at the end. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm gonna rotate through all the different ways that I would wear these but I just wanna give you first an overview of what you need in this capsule wardrobe and how it works. So let's start with tops. So you can start with your sort of everyday tees that are already in your wardrobe. And I think, you know, they're great, especially to a certain period in your um, pregnancy where even as you get a bigger bump like I do have now, you can actually wear them and then tie them in a little knot so that they sit above the bump and it's really cute with a pair of high-waisted leggings or um, a pencil skirt which i'm going to show you so that's a really good way to sort of get more life out of your existing wardrobe and obviously these are pieces that you've had they're really comfortable comfortable they're probably more worn in so this one's from amor Ver. i love these t-shirts i have many of them because they're just a total basic classic staple in my wardrobe and I have definitely been wearing them throughout my pregnancy but they don't always make the cut <laughs> and that's when I did invest in some maternity tanks and tees um, these I just got from Target from their Isabel maternity line they're just made from a cotton material with a little bit of a stretch um, fabric woven in so that you can get it over the bump and the reason why you want maternity versus the regular is maternity is going to be longer because you know as the bump comes out and you're going to wear shorts or maternity jeans the top of your bottoms are going to be right here and you need something that comes all the way over and covers which the, t the tees that you have in your existing wardrobe likely don't cover so anyway i got a nice tank has been such a staple um i also got let's see like three of these i got white, black, and gray. And I just got one um, black tank. So far, so good. Again, really neutral colors that you can mix and match with a lot of different things in different ways. One other top that you may not think is a pregnancy top is the crop top. And if you have some of these in your wardrobe already, this is, I mean, it's great just to get more wear out of them. It was something unexpected. I did not think that I was gonna be wearing crop tops with a belly, but the way that you wear it is you actually pair it with something high-waisted like this skirt. So the skirt comes up over the bump and then you have the little crop top and you can show a little bit of skin or you can have them meet, you know, so that there's no skin showing. And it actually works really, really well on a pregnant body. The last thing I wanna highlight in tops is a sort of cover up a button down. This is my linen button down from Zara. They got years ago and it's just it's such a staple again neutral colors really make it really wearable and um, I'll wear it over a dress I'll wear it with shorts I'll wear it with a t-shirt and shorts as sort of like you know a, a shacket <laughs> style and so 
it's just such a good staple. I would definitely say you want one or two of these. This one, I love the light linen, especially for summer. Another option would be to get a chambray um, shirt like this. I can see getting a ton of wear out of that too. Okay, on to bottoms. So I already sort of showed you this pencil skirt. This is also from Stork, that maternity line I was telling you about. But you can see it doesn't necessarily look maternity, so you can wear this after, and I plan on wearing it. Um, because it has the elastic, it's really versatile. So, you know, obviously when you're not pregnant, you don't have as much here to fill out, but because of the fabric, it's no problem. And this fabric actually is really soft. It feels really good against the bump. Um, so I like to wear this higher up, and as I mentioned, you know, you can wear a tee and sort of knot it, um, or you can have a crop top or a tank top tucked in. It's just really, really versatile piece and really easy to wear and so good for the summer just to have more of a skirt option. So I'm loving this. The other piece that I invested in was a pair of shorts, and this is again from Ingrid and Isabel. Um, the Ingrid Maternity or Isabel Maternity is the line that they carry at Target, sort of like their you know, lower line that's more accessible. So it's really great to pick up some pieces at Target if you don't want to spend a lot. Um, like I think those t-shirts were like $15. It's so, you know, this is the limited time of your life that you're going to be going through this, so you don't want to spend a lot. But these I really wanted to get because I wanted a pair of shorts and I do have some in my wardrobe that have this elastic band that I am still able to wear, but these are pregnancy style. And the way you can tell is that they're a little bit shorter in the front because the band goes below the bump. And so when you have them on, then they actually look like normal because um, this is shorter, but it's dropped down when you're wearing it. And so then they all, you know, it sort of is the same length all the way around. So this chambray material, such a great investment piece. I'm wearing these all the time right now in the summertime when it's hot. And there's lots of really cute ways to style it, which I'll be showing you in the lookbook section. Um, from Isabel, nope, sorry, from Stork. These are my leggings from Stork. They're high-waisted. They have this really nice band at the top. Um, it's like six inches. And I bought, this was the first thing I bought because again, I was so uncomfortable in the beginning just having any pressure against my abdomen or anything, you know, lower here. And so I invested in a pair of the leggings and you just take your normal size because, you know, they've sort of accounted for the fact that your body is where it, what it is, but you're growing and there's room for you to grow. Um, the difference is if you have regular leggings and you're thinking you can just get away with regu regular leggings, you probably can for a while, especially if you're not so sensitive down here. But what I find is like a lot of the regular leggings are compression. And so they're really like trying to like cinch everything in and keep it really tight and, and flat. And it's like, you do not want that when you're pregnant. You want it to feel like, you know, you have room, that it's comfortable. Again, the fabric is really soft and feels really good against the skin. I had like a lot of itchy skin for a moment there. So that was a big deal. Um, anyway, and I would definitely get a couple pairs of these because you're gonna be wearing them so much that you really want to be able to alternate them um, and you know keep your laundry going while you're wearing them. Last pair is a pair of maternity jeans. And I got these from Rent the Runway. Um, I rented them first because I wanted to try them because I've heard mixed reviews. Some people are like, don't do maternity jeans, they're so uncomfortable. Um, and other people swear by them. So they, and you know, different maternity jeans have different tops. This one has the band that's built in. And um, in the beginning I couldn't wear this because again, having that pressure on my stomach just didn't feel good. But as I've gotten um, bigger and now that I'm in the second trimester and I feel better, I'm able to wear these and they're great. So they're sort of a crop style they have the little striping down the side, makes them really cute. They're sort of this like skinny cigarette uh, style. And my partner says they make my butt look really good. <laughs> so it's fun to have, I think just one pair. I wouldn't go overboard. I wouldn't get a lot of different pairs. I don't wear them that often because, um, you know, they're hot. So it's good on a cold day, but otherwise I'm probably gonna go for the shorts or a dress or a skirt. 
um, but it's nice to have them. And I was really lucky because when I rented these, then I got a notice from Rent the Runway and they marked them down and I was able to get these for like $25. Um, instead of 200 which is what maternity jeans normally cost. So that's another good tip is that, you know, if you guys can rent um, from Rent the Runway, they have a lot of maternity styles. And then also, again, like I mentioned with my girlfriend, if you have any friends who were recently pregnant and no longer need the maternity clothing, then it's a really good way to just sort of pass things along and make use of it. So now we go into dresses. This is my favorite part. I got most excited about this and it's sort of interesting because this sort of style that I'm wearing right now, which is like a, a bodycon um, tank midi dress, right? Uh, it goes just below my knees. I'm, I'll show you more. I know you can't quite see, um, but it goes just below or right at my knee. And it's just like very easy to wear. Something I probably never really wore before I was pregnant. But what I learned is that you really want to find pieces that hug you so that Yes, people can tell I'm a pregnant lady. There's a bump here. They don't have to guess. They don't have to like look at you and are you or aren't you pregnant? Like if you're wearing something more flowy. Um, so, and it's fun too, I, I will say. Like once you do pop and you can't hide that bump anymore, you don't wanna hide your bump anymore. It's really fun to sort of have the bump out, have people know like, yes, you're pregnant. So I got this, again, I, this is from Target. It's that Isabel maternity line. These were, I think, $25 each. And I got it in this color black, and then I also got it in an olive green. Um, I did also buy from, and other stories, a little bit more of a knit fabric. So again, maybe on the days when it's a little bit cooler and you want just a little bit uh, more from the fabric, that one um, is in a cream color and it's really, really beautiful. So just wanted a few options. Again, show off the bump, it's really fun. I also got more of like a baby doll style dress. This I'm anticipating, I've worn it once. I'm anticipating for when it gets really hot and you're just like, I do not want anything clinging to me. Like this could potentially get kind of sweaty depending you know, how hot you are. So I wanted something airy. This is a linen fabric, so it's really breathable and it has lots of room for me to grow. So I would definitely recommend something like that. And I also got one, another that is linen. This is from And Other Stories um, that has a drop waist. So again, there's tons of room for me to grow. Um, it has a really nice collar. It looks really polished but it's really lightweight, really breezy. So again, on those hot days, it's gonna be a lifesaver. And then one other thing I wanna mention is not a dress, but I did get a jumpsuit. Um, I had heard when I was doing sort of like research on what to wear when you're pregnant, some different YouTubers who were like, wearing a jumpsuit is the best thing ever. It's sort of like, you know, a more polished take on overalls. And I do find, and I've worn this once already where um, you know, if you want to look like you're put together, but you're still really comfortable and you're not trying too hard, the jumpsuit is such a good way to go. And you do want a maternity jumpsuit, which this is, so that it, it's sort of built in to accommodate the bump. And then again, it's like a fun way to show off the bump. So I got this in an olive color. I feel like I'm going to be wearing this all summer. Um, and you can dress it up, you can dress it down. I'll be showing you in the lookbook how. Just a few more things to mention here. So we get into layers. I invested in this cardigan. It's a longer cardigan and it's actually from Stork, that maternity brand I was telling you about. And what I love about it is it's really nice, soft fabric. I would wear it with a dress like this. You just, sometimes you need a layer um, in between, right? When you may be going inside and it's air conditioned or um, if it, you know, today the weather's kind of like all over the place and you just need a layer that's more relaxed and easy to like throw in your bag, this is it. But I will mention this is also a maternity um, nursing cardigan. So it has this little button or a snap, I guess, at here and here so you can snap it and then have a baby under here nursing. So this is a nice investment piece because I'm wearing it now while I'm pregnant. 
I'll definitely wear it afterwards and I can wear it as a nice nursing option. So this was a great investment. Love this piece. And then there's a couple of other pieces that I wanted to include. I would say for sure you want a jean jacket. And this is my oversized jean jacket from Seaweed and Gravel. So it's like a little bit edgy. It makes me feel kind of cool. Um, and again, a lot of these things are basics. Like I would, again, wear it over this black tank dress um, with sneakers. It's really cute, really cool and effortlessly chic. And because of the denim, it has like a little bit more weight. So this is a really good layer for the spring summer. And one other jacket that I would include, I don't think it's necessary, but I love my jacket. So for me, it's necessary is this little bomber jacket. And again, this is, you know, these things are things that I owned before. These are not pregnancy style, but if you have more of a crop style jacket, then when you put it on, it sort of ends here. You don't have to zip it up. You're going to leave it unbuttoned. You can push the sleeves up and it just, again, gives you a little bit of a layer. Sometimes it makes your outfit come together. Um, and this one having the little, you know, puffiness, it's again, if it's colder, maybe in the evenings or something like that, you might want something just a little bit warmer. I would opt for this. Last thing I want to mention are shoes. So I've already talked a little bit about wearing sneakers. I would say this is my number one go-to. I mean, it also helps that they're in style right now. So wearing sneakers with a dress looks really cute, really effortless, or even with a skirt, you know, like it's sort of that high-low dressing. So some of these basics you can kind of elevate, but then bring back down with the sneaker and it's so comfortable. And, you know, pregnant ladies, you, you sort of have that stigma of like, they're always just wearing like flat sandals and sneakers. And it, there is a reason, I mean, as you get heavier, like it's really so much more comfortable. I will say with the sneakers, you wanna make sure that you can slip them on. So I just keep these pre-tied all the time and I can like slip my foot in there because I've heard and it's starting to happen <laughs> that it's just a lot harder to bend down and tie shoes. So don't wanna be bothering with that. I also have another pair of shoes that I'm wearing right now that I would also recommend just like a slip on sneaker. These are from opening ceremony that I've had for years and years and just really love. And they're also a pregnancy wardrobe staple. The other thing that you'll want are those pairs of flat sandals. These I've had for a really long time and they're just totally fitting the bill. Um, I'm also finding that I don't really want like, I don't know, rubbery sandals right now. I, I kind of, I think because when you're pregnant, it, your, your image changes so much. I'm just really feeling like I wanna be dressed up. I wanna make the effort and wear like a real sandal and not a flip flop. So I definitely have this pair, the gold goes with everything. I'm gonna have one more pair that's coming in the mail right now um, that is gonna be more of the brand, or sorry, that's gonna be more of the brown um, tan color. So a little less dressy than the metallic. And I feel like those are gonna be an everyday shoe that I wear all the time. And then the last pair that I will mention is a pair of slip-on mules with a heel. I do think that there's nothing sexier than a pregnant lady who's wearing heels. Like I just think it looks so amazing. And these are good because they're not like crazy, right? Like it's not a stiletto that you don't feel, you know, certain in and your, your center of gravity does really change a lot when you're pregnant. So this is something that I feel comfortable. I can walk around in, I can walk around in the grass. You're not going to sink in. So something like this, I would recommend. And again, for spring, summer, having it have the mesh detail and be breathable just is a really good option. All right, now we're going to get into the lookbook section, but before we do, I just want to remind you to hit that subscribe button. And if you are liking this video, give it a thumbs up. That other people can share it and find it too. And without further ado, let's get into the lookbook.
watching. I hope this was helpful. And if you did find it helpful, please be sure to like it and share it. And I will see you guys next time.